What up dudes, it's Gaz, and welcome back to another Warframe video. So, overall, been pretty happy with the updates so far. The Sisters of Parvos, you've got some new weapons to grind, we've got some new, uh, you know, galvanized mods, new arcanes. I'm having a good time, honestly. But I thought it was about time we start talking about some things that are not good about the update. And we're going to start off with pretty much comparing some of the meta arcanes versus the bad arcanes that were recently added in this update. And we're also going to go another step further and also talk about the galvanized mods that aren't that great either. Keeping in mind that galvanized savvy and all the condition overload mods, those are currently bugged in a bunch of weapons, so we're not going to really be talking about that today. Before we get into it, make sure you're subbed to the YouTube channel and make sure you check out the live stream channel as well for all the content going up on the channel. All right, so the weapons, or rather the mods the Arcanes are talking about today, we're talking about galvanized scope, basically power crept argon scope, and we're also going to be talking about primary deadhead. This is a arcane that you can equip on your primary so you have unlocked it for Steel Essence. Uh, and what this one will do at max rank is uh, on precision headshot kill, 120% increased damage for 24 seconds, stacked to the three times. So maximum 360% increased damage uh, on headshot kill. Remember, this is only on headshot kill. And the, the unfortunate part about this is that this does not work on headshot slash proc kills. It has to be a base damage headshot kill. Additionally, it will give you increased headshot multipliers and minus weapon recoil. Comparing it to the actual meta one, Primary Merciless, this is on any type of kill. So this does work with slash procs. 30% uh, damage for 4 seconds, stack up to 12 times. So you need 12 kills to get this max damage bonus on this thing. Uh, you'll also get increased reload speed and increased ammo. So, yes, that's the problem with this one Primary Deadhead is that it does not work on slash procs. So if you're running a smart build against armored enemies like Internal Bleeding or Hunter Munitions or whatever... This is going to be pretty much a terrible option. You'll get the headshot multiplier and then reduce recoil, but you will not be proccing the increased damage at all. Unless you're, fighting, you're shooting like a butcher in the head, because the butchers will always die to the base damage. Compounding this issue, we also have galvanized scope. Like I said, it's powercraft argon scope, very similar to the mod. On headshot, increased crit chance while aiming, it's the same thing. Um, but this one also does not work on slash proc, so every headshot kill from base damage 40% increased crit chance while aiming for 12 seconds. Stacked up to 5 times. So you need to get 5 base damage headshots. If you are running slash mods, it's technically a bad thing. Because you will be hurting yourself from getting this buff. It's hard to keep this buff going. Keep in mind this Argon Scope, Galvanized Scope one. You lose all stacks if it runs out once. So you need to be really, really careful of using this mod the way you're playing. This The primary Deadhead one thankfully only loses one stack at a time. Um, but, you know... I, I feel like it's not really worth the trade-off of having to go for specifically headshots versus running Merciless, which is just a lot more generic, easy to use. So we'll quick, quickly show it in action here, and then we'll show some Steel Path gameplay with the Comorex and show how, like, basically the mindless AoE spam build is much better on these kinds of guns. Now, specifically for a single shot, like, one time, one kill at a time kind of weapon, sure, it'll probably be better than, than Merciless because you can't even kill, keep the kills going with Merciless. But, um... The, the way that the meta is in this game, it's a horde shooter. We're not we're not killing one enemy at a time. I don't know what DE thinks is happening here. Maybe it, it must just be a similar echo mod that we're messing with here, uh, because killing like five enemies that per in one shot is what you should be doing. Killing one enemy at a time is not what you should be doing in this game if you're trying to play it properly. Because a lot of the farms in this game are kill per second focused. I need to kill a bunch of enemies to get the life support dropping in this in this survival. I need to kill the demolist before it gets to the uh, the console in in disruption. Everything in this game is basically about killing or freezing the enemies in place so they can't kill the objective. It's, it doesn't get much more complicated than that. So we'll show, we'll first show the uh, the AoE spam build. So I'm here at the Comorex, an AoE explosive sniper. Does, uh, has built-in viral procs. You can do viral corrosive and hunter munitions. Pretty nice. Now keep my galvanized uh, savvy or whatever it's called. The condition overload mod is currently not working on every weapon. So I did not run it in this build. But as you can see, we... Even with the AoE build, we are easily sustaining the 12x uh, damage multiplier, or the 12 stacks of Galvan or uh, Primary Merciless, so very easy stuff there. And we're not even needing to run the uh, the Galvanized Headshot mod, because I honestly feel like that's not even worth it. Um, if you if you wanted to run it, I guess you could, but then you're potentially not going to be using uh, Critical Delay. Or if you're using Critical Delay or Point Strike, that's two mod slots for crit chance. That crit chance could be coming from your ribbon, if you have a ribbon that is. Um, the headshot multiplier, we're still one-shotting these guys, so I don't really feel like it's super important. 
Um, and I feel like, feel like this mod, or the, this arcane could probably use a buff. Make it where primary deadhead actually gives you more overall damage than primary merciless. I'd say make it where primary deadhead gives you 700% increased damage if you get those headshot kills. Maybe make it where the maximum stacks is like five stacks or whatever, and you need to get more headshot kills to get to that max value, but it's much more powerful at the end. So it's it's going to be worth it if you're trying to go for a sniper headshot build. There's a if because I've kind of just given up at this point about multi-target versus single target this in this point. They cannot fix multi-target versus single target in this game. It's a, a mow down the enemies kind of game, not a kill one elite enemy kind of game. So I'm just gonna live with it. it it's how it is. Um, and the fact that we have to rely so heavily on slash procs at high levels, and the headshot multiplier one does not work with slash procs, kind of is kind of productive. It feels like it's a little bit out of touch. Uh, and this is actually one of the only the only uh, ways they address multi-target or single target in the entire update. They made it just so it's easy. It's easy to stack up the headshot one. Easier to he stack up the headshot one versus the uh, the merciless one. That's pretty much all it is. Headshot multiplier, sure. You could maybe use it in an Eidolon fight, like I said earlier. Um, oh, like the Eidolon's in the final stand. Increase headshot multiplier. Well, you could just use merciless for increased reload speed to keep your sniper combo counter going easier. So. Yeah, um, we're not talking about galvanized, uh, or <laughs> I keep getting the names messed up. Uh, primary dexterity, the one where you get some melee kills, you switch to your primary, because that's that's a different place altogether. I feel like that one's actually properly balanced, and I feel like Merciless is good, but I feel like Deadhead definitely could use some work. And as far as galvanized scope, I've never liked Argon scope. I find it to be a joke of a mod. I feel like they should just replace uh, galvanized scope with galvanized rounds. Make it where galvanized, it's basically a... A power crap version of bladed rounds. If you if you change it from argon scope to bladed rounds, bladed rounds is a much more useful mod uh, for what we're doing here. We don't need we don't need these red crits. We don't need these orange crits. We need more crit damage. Um, it, but like I said, it's still not going to change the multi-target versus single target uh, problem in Warframe. Which it, it will and if if they do end up changing, it will just end up them nerfing multi-target. To be honest, so, which I don't want them to do that. I'm having fun. Like I said, I'm having fun the update. I think the update's overall pretty decent. Not perfect. We still don't have any content that actually matters in this game, unfortunately. I'm getting all this ridiculous, like, galvanized arcanes and guns and all this stuff just for grinding the steel path more, I guess. So let's get into the headshot-focused loadout here. Now, we switched out uh, Critical Delay and Primary Merciless for Primary Deadhead and uh, Galvanized Scope. So this is, like, the mods we're talking about and saying are bad. As you can see here, we can still kill these guys. Like, it's it's not too bad, but we're trying to make sure we keep our stacks here. If the Galvanized Scope loses... Like, if, you're, if the timer runs out on Galvanized Scope, you lose all five of your stacks, guys. So it's actually very impractical to keep it uh, going all the time if you're running Slash procs. So, as you can see, they're all, like, dying pretty fast. Um, but I'm just, like, a sitting duck, basically. This is, this is suboptimal. Imagine if I was using the Brahma right now. Imagine if I was using the Envoy. Imagine if I was using the, the Kuvazar. This, the kills would be much higher. I'd be getting more loot from these enemies to drop. I'd be getting more life support. I'd be overall playing the game better. But here I am taking these these measured headshots on these enemies. Now, to be fair, I'm playing Sevagoth, so they're slowed down. It's much easier than it, than it usually is. But then, like, here, I switched to melee for a second. Look how much more smooth this is going. It's like... It, it, it really feels like it's not... It, it, this is not the way the game is, is played. Like, realistically, like, DE does not realize how the game is played apparently but at the same time they also do they know what's good they made merciless they knew it they, they nerfed merciless before it came out but here we are with deadhead deadhead does not have a chance deadhead could use some buffs and i i don't think you should get deadhead I, in the community would agree i'm looking at the plat prices for primary deadhead on pc four plat per the prices of primary merciless on pc 15 to 20 plat per and this is like over a week into the update so yeah, you're not fooling anyone here. We know it's bad. We know it's not good. We, um, it, no, technically, it's better than having no arcane. If you only have primary deadhead, sure, still use it. But uh, as far as like, you know, viability in the actual meta of the game, it, it's not even holding a candle to merciless. They're not, they're not comparable, guys. Um, the headshot multipliers I'm getting here, like, yeah, I'm keeping some of these going, but losing those stacks is really annoying. Um, and you know, like they're giving me, per these are generous headshots to be real. Like this is not like precision aiming. I'm using the Comorex and AOE sniper. 
Um, but yeah, the fact that Hunter Munitions is actually kind of a bad thing with this weapon is is just hilarious to me. So uh, that's basically it for the video, guys. Um, I think I said pretty much everything I wanted to say. Like I said, slash procs don't work with this. Uh, you know, gas procs, toxin procs, heat procs, they don't work with this. Only the raw damage of killing an enemy with the headshot is what counts for these two mods. And then, of course, it's the same exact thing for the secondaries, too. There's secondary uh, deadhead. There's secondary uh, crit chance wall aiming after a headshot kill. Those, they, they copy-paste, put it on the secondaries. Um, and there is not a, there's not one for shotguns, hilariously. Even though shotguns probably could have used this one pretty well. Um, you know, we, we did technically get those corrupted crit chance mods buffed this update. And I do appreciate that. Um, but it, it would have been kind of cool if the, the shotguns got one, too. Because... You know, they, they don't really have a crit chance issue now that we have that buffed up uh, critical deceleration, I think it's called. But, you know, you know, getting some orange crits on the CDO would have been kind of fun. So, I'll talk to you guys next time. Hope you found the video helpful. Um, there will be a live a very short live stream of doing the Tenno Live, uh, TennoCon thing tomorrow. Um, so, if you want to check that out, be my guest. And we'll have a long uh, live stream on Sunday talking about TennoCon. And there will be lots of videos coming out. The reason I'm not streaming a bunch on Saturday is because I actually want to get a bunch of videos out. And also, notice how we failed a five-minute survival with primary deadhead and primary or galvanized scope. That might say something about it, guys. Just saying. We didn't fail it with merciless and uh, critical delay. So, either way, talk to you next time. Take it easy and peace.